what you got to do, right? Part of that way about and trusting your Havashai, and he's got the rest, okay? He that fed the Lord your Havashai, wait for his mercy and go not aside, lest ye fall. The moment you go aside, that means that hedge is no longer there now. He that fed the Lord your Havashai, believe him, and your reward shall not fail. He that fed the Lord your Havashai, hope for good and everlasting joy and mercy. Look at the generations of old and see. Did any ever trust in the Lord Yahushua and was confounded? Even with David. King, King David's own sons rose up against him. Absalom. Look, even King Saul rose up against David. Did he stop believing in Yahushua? No. He continued. Right? So that's what Yahushua wants us to do, to continue in the faith. Okay? And it says, or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Whom did he ever despise that called upon him? Was he going to despise you for calling upon him? No. For the Lord is full of compassion and mercy, long suffering, very pitiful and forgive of sins. So he's pitiful. He's looking at it, well, look, these are mine. Right? These are mine. This is my servant. Right? This is my servant right here. <laughs> okay. This is my servant right here. I've got him. He's pitiful. You know, when you have a son, you may beat him. But after you beat him, all right, you let him know why and you may even treat him. Right? The Lord is merciful in his ways. Very. <laughs> And we ain't going to be stuck, don't think, we're not just going to be stuck here, you know? We're not just going to be stuck here being oppressed. And you got to think, we're being, we're being chastised, how more so the other, na the, the other nations? Can you imagine what's happening to them? I always say this, those that are bucking up against the elect, the hopeful elect, well, imagine what's going to happen to them. <laughs> imagine what's going to happen to them. Right? You know you know they're catching holy hell. Right? It's not it's not good for them. Now, excuse me just a minute. You, you you know it ain't good for them. At all. And that's why, yeah, you gotta be what spiritual. Right? And focus on your have a shy. Alright? And just know. Whatever these devils, these demons are doing, it's not going to prevail, right? Yeah, they're given rain, yeah, they can do particular things, but ultimately it's going to fail, all right? And these people, they're like, I want to say this, these people, they're, they're dark souls. I'm just going to be real, these people are dark souls and they want to be around the light. And that's a lot of the time, that's why they all, they, they knows about, they want to know what's going on with you, because they're nosy. They're in the dark, right? And this is for some of our people as well. They ain't got the backbone to repent and live a better life. So now you're a reflection of what they should be, but, but they're not. And this is how it works. Because men love darkness rather than light, right? Go to John, Baba Kishore. This is John 3. And... 18, he that believe on him is not condemned, but he that believe in not is condemned already. So if you don't believe, you're already, you're already condemned, bro. He that believe not is already condemned already. So you have a lot of condemned spirits. Right? You have a lot of condemned spirits walking around here. Right? <laughs> okay. Because he have not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of the Most High. And this is the condemnation that light has come into the world. Starting with Yahabashai and his men. And men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. That's what men love. They love darkness rather than light. Because their deeds were evil. Right? And our deeds were, but the difference is, we're in the light. So that means our deeds were approved. If you're in the light, that means your deeds were approved. Because for, for order for you to come into the light, the darkness needs to be what? Uncovered. Right? 
for everyone that doeth evil hateth the light so that's why people react the way they react because they want to continue being evil it's comfortable it's easy to remain in sin for everyone that doeth evil hateth the light neither cometh to the light lest his deeds shall be reproved so Yahushua is the light and the only way you're going to come to light is through what? having your deeds being reproved and that's how it works right? but he that doeth truth cometh to the light that his deeds may, might be made manifest so you're doing the truth guess what? you're coming to the light right? they are wrought in the most high right? that his deeds may be made manifest that they are wrought in the most high so what you were doing in the world that gets exposed and what does that lead to? sin it leads to humiliation it leads to you confessing your sins and once you confess your sin it brings you closer to your Habashai okay this is what it's about but we're living in a very 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 um dark world where these people are dark and demonic alright let's go to Matthew 4 5 and 14 right and you don't need to teach everyone this ain't for the other nations this ain't for Esau this ain't for Elam it's not for the other nations and it's not even for the wicked of our people that don't want to repent why are you wasting your time this is for those that have ears to hear this is for the elect because even the other nations they want to come around you as well to get your energy it's not for them okay this is Matthew 5 and we're going to go straight to verse 14 you are the light of the world we are the light of the world a city that is set on a hill cannot be hid right and as I'm looking right now behind me what there's a city up on a hill right and it says it cannot be hid neither do men light a candle or put it under a bushel so we are that light of the world okay we are that light a city that is set on a hill cannot be hid so we are likened unto that city that's on that hill and it cannot be hid because first of all it's a city second of all it's on a hill everybody sees it and that's why yes you're going to stand now because you are likened unto that city so you're going to stand now even if even though you don't want to you're going to stand now and that's another thing that makes you targeted right you're targeted another reason why you're targeted because you stand out right you stand out so you become targeted <laughs> okay you stand out from the bunch okay and it says bear me just a minute neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel but on a candlestick and it giveth light unto all that are in the house so that's what you do you put it on the candlestick right and it gives light to all everybody else can see it so if you have a light in the house well somebody's in there right if the light's never on as well well are they alive so you are that light let your light so shine before men 1 verse 16 but they may see your good works glorify your father which is in heaven so that's what we got to do let this light shine right in a dark dark world this is what we have to do because nobody else is going to do it and the scripture says Yahweh could even raise up stones to worship him right and you'll find that a lot when you have the light you're going to have all types that come you're going to have moths you're going to have flies fruit flies you're going to have them dirty shit flies use my language you're going to have all that come to you right some are attracted to the light some are not but even the demons somewhat are attracted to the light okay maybe just it's like an obsession and that's it's demonic when you have an obsession with someone and you're following them it's demonic right straight up 
This is First Thessalonians 5. But of the times and seasons, brethren, you have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord of Yahweh shall come as a thief in the night unexpectedly. So when they shall say peace and safety, rain sudden destruction cometh upon them. And most people, they're in that peace. They're in that peace and safety spirit. Comfortability, thinking everything's going to continue on. Right? Thinking everything's going to continue. Right? When it's not. Okay? And it says, excuse me, but ye brethren are not in darkness. That, that should they should take you as a thief in the night. Right? And it says, Baba Kesha, for when they shall say peace safe, sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman, a woman in labour pains. So this is gonna come. Right? And this is what these people don't realise. They think everything's a joke. When this is not a joke. And they shall not escape, but ye brethren are not in darkness. That the day should overtake you as a thief. Right? You're all the children. You're all the children of light. Okay? You're all the children of light. Okay? And the children of the day. Right? You're the children of the light and the children of the day. So we are of the day. We're not of night time. We are of the day. Right? We're declaring that light. We are not of the night, nor darkness. And the night and darkness represents what? Ignorance, obscurity, right? Death, right? The Masons, they're of the night. They're not of the light. And they call themselves the light bearers. Right? They're not of the light. They're not of the day. That's why they do most of their what? Things in secret, right? Ye are the children of the light and the children of the day, right? And it says, maybe just a bit. And it says, maybe just a bit. We are not of the night nor the day, okay? We, have no, we are not of the night nor of darkness, okay? All right. Maybe just a bit. The dog's coming up to me now. He wants me to chuck him, chuck him the tennis ball. All right, it's going back. Maybe just a minute. And it says, let us fall not sleep as do others, right? Everybody else out here is sleeping. But let us watch and be sober. Watch and be sober. And Esau, because he's so demonic, he's going to set up, his whole thing is to, um, part of sabotaging, he's going to set up all types of different scenarios in your life. Which is really, Yahabashah doing that as a test. But Esau would do that man manufactured setups. He'll put a person here, Put a person there, have a person to walk past you, right? All these things. He'll do it. Okay? Esau, remember, he's a devil. He's going to try to frame you. He frame with deceit. It tells you that in Psalms. Right? Remember, he's the accuser of our brethren. Right? And it says... For they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. But let us who of the day be sober, put it on the breastplate of faith and love for the helmet and hope of salvation. Right? For the most I have not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Jehovah Shai, Mashiach, who died for us, that whether we wake or sleep, we should live together with him. Wherefore, comfort yourselves together. Comfort yourself with these words. Right? Comfort yourselves. Right? And edify one another even as you do. We've got to continue to do that. Edify the flock. Continually, continually, continually. Edify the flock. This is what our people need, this truth. And don't let no one get in your way or stop you from it. Let's go to Romans, Baba Kesha. <sighs> yeah, sometimes it's a lot, it can be annoying. Sometimes you get sick of these people trying to come round you. They want what you have, but they can't have it. Well, they can have it, but they choose to live an ungodly life and not repent. But they want to steal what you have. Jordan, um, 
10 and 10, the thief cometh not but to steal and to kill and to destroy. And that thief is the devil. They come to steal, kill and to destroy. Right? But ain't no man, no man can do that with your joy. This is what you have. This is what's been stored up for you. No other man can do that. You know you're free in your house shy. Don't let, don't let Esau fool you. Don't let Esau set up this person around you. Or set up what? Black, red and um, blue cars around you to make you think, oh no, I'm trapped. No, you're free in your house shy. Don't fall for the, for the um, deception. Don't fall for the illusion. Don't fall for that. You're free in Yahweh Shai. You believe in Yahweh Shai, you're free through him. If Esau wants to put them limitations on you, thinking that there's, there's no way out. You've been made free through Yahweh Shai. It's Esau that has to worry, and these individuals that have sold their soul to the devil, the walking dead. I forgot what I was looking for now. Bear me just a minute. I forgot what I forgot what I was going to. I know Romans something. Oh, that's it. Romans. Got some je 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 jealous ass um jealous ass niggas, man. Because they're not going nowhere in life. They they want to stop you. Because they're not going anywhere. Sad. Sad. Bro, what happened to you? Where do you get the time? Where do you get the time? to monitor someone all day that means you don't have a life you couldn't pay me a million you couldn't pay me a million to do that <laughs> where do you have that time that means you're well, obviously doing something right a lot of men want to be in the truth but they don't understand what comes with it they want to look good but when persecution comes they're going to start folding the persecution is here right now so if you're going through that thing now Count it a blessing, because when that time comes, at least you're you're um you're gonna be more built and acceptable for that time. Yahabasha is training up his men now. And we're gonna shut off soon. Let's go to Romans 8 and 17. And if children and hairs and hairs of the most saying joint hairs with my shirt, that's what we wanna be. Joint hairs with Yahweh Shai. Okay. If so, be that we suffer with him. So, you want to be joint hairs? You have to suffer with him. That's a part of that calling. Okay. That we may be also glorified together. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. What we're going through now is not, you can't compare it. To what eternal kingdom, eternal in the, in it? Come on, eternal rulership in the heavens. You can't compare that. Nothing compares to it. Yeah, it is like a bad. It's like a bad dream. I should it's a bad dream or a nightmare that you want to wake up. This is what this life is, right? That you want to wake up from, and that's what it is. But it's nothing to be compared with what we have waiting for us. Okay. And it says, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, for the earnest expectation of the creature waited for the manifestation of the sons of the Most High. Right? Our change. For the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly, but by the reason of him who has subjected the same in hope. So we've been subjected, what? To these chains of darkness. And to wait for Yahweh Shai, and that's what makes it more interesting. Jump straight to verse. 27 and he that searcheth the hearts knoweth what is in the mind of the spirit because he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of the most high and we know that all things work together for good to them that love the most high to them that are called according to his purpose this is my this is my favorite scripture because it basically covers everything everything i want to read this again and we know all things work together for good to them that love the most high. all things everything that's it everything that's put in your way that you go through works for the good of you right everything to them who are called according to his purpose so you have an elect that are called according to Yahweh's purpose for whom he did foreknow he also did predestinate that foreknowledge is what prog um, prognisco 
to have knowledge of those that were elected beforehand, before salvation, right? To be conformed to the image of his son, conform joint image, a joint reflection of Yahabashai. That he might be the firstborn among many brethren, Yahabashai, moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called, and them he called him, them he also justified. So these particular remnant that were called and also justified. So it doesn't matter what nobody else thinks, nobody else says. These individuals were justified in the sight of Yahabashai. And whom he justified, him, them he also glorified. What shall we say then to these things? If the Most High be for us, who can be against us? Simple as that. Who can really be against you if Yahabashai is for you? Okay. He that spared not his own son but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? And who shall lay anything to the charge of the Most High's elect? And that's what Esau, that's what these witches, these warlocks, and people you might have knew in the world, that's what they're trying to do. Right? It is the Most High that justifieth, and the elect are justified, right, through Yahabashai, through his blood, and through the new covenant. <sighs> right? Who is he that condemneth? It is Moshe that died, yeah, rather that is risen again. Who is he that, who is even at the right hand of the Most High, who also maketh intercession for us, prayers? Because in John 17, it talks about how he prayed for his elect. Who shall separate us from the love of Mashiach? And that's what the devil's trying to do, separate us. Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril. And that nakedness is also shame, right? Or nakedness, or peril, dangers, or sword, as it is written. For thy sake, we are killed all day long. All day, especially in this world, we are cut as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, no, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him. The elect are conquerors, point blank, period. Okay, for I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, these spirits, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any creature shall be able to separate us from the love of the Most High, which is in our Lord Jehovah Mashiach, nothing is going to separate the elect from Yahabashai because they belong to him. So you carry on sending your masons, carry on sending your agents, you can you can do that. But uh, again, the best thing you look, this is how you know Esau ain't too smart. If you were gonna do anything, the best thing for you would not to, to, to not do that. Right? If you were gonna do it, you'd probably do it to you know someone in the world. That wasn't too bright. But you want to do that to the elect? That ain't too wise. Right? That ain't too wise. Right? All the people you can do that to. Okay? You want to do it to the hope elect. That ain't too wise. Because the judgment you're going to receive. Okay? Ain't going to be nice. Okay? The judgment you're going to receive. Ain't going to be nice. It's going to be horrible. Okay? So with this lesson, see how long I've been on it. So with this lesson, I'll shut off here. And until the next time, shadow arm to the hopeful elect across the globe. And Lord of this was edifying. And any of you brothers or sisters that are going through anything, Yahabashai is there with you. And he's there to, um, you know, to uphold you. Continue pushing until the next time, shadow arm.